Hi everybody. I welcome you all to today's video. Today we will take a look at Industrial Waste Disposal Management. Come let's get into the video. Industrial waste is the waste generated by manufacturing or industrial processes. The types of industrial waste generated include Cafeteria garbage, dirt and gravel, masonry and concrete, scrap metals, trash, oil, solvents, chemicals, weedgrass and trees, wood and scrap lumber, and similar wastes. The disposal of industrial waste in the right manner is a vital process. Before getting into the details of industrial waste and its management, we need to know three key words. Waste generator, waste transportation and waste processor. Any factory or industry to generate waste is a waste generator. Waste transportation is picking up the waste from the waste generator and delivering it to the waste processor. A factory that treats disposes or recycles waste is a waste processor. These three words briefly sums up the industrial waste management system. Now let us see these in detail. Now we will take a look at the different types of industrial waste. Industrial wastes are of four types. Liquid waste, solid waste, chemical waste and hazardous waste. Liquid waste is produced industrially. Large amounts of water are needed in most industrial processes, which may come into contact with harmful substances like radioactive materials, dirty water, organic liquids, rinse water, waste detergents, and even rainwater. Owing to a large number of pollutants, industrial liquid waste that flows into oceans, rivers, or lakes, poses several environmental risks. Businesses and factories are required to install wastewater treatment facilities to stop the polluted water from flowing into large bodies of water, since if it flows in untreated, it could harm the surrounding environment and, in severe cases, even the surrounding population. In industrial services, solid waste includes a variety of different materials, including paper, cardboard, plastics, packaging materials, wood, and scrap metal. Some of these materials can be reused and recycled by a recycling center. A recycling center can process the majority of industrial solid waste, effectively reducing your waste disposal costs. Chemical waste is typically generated by factories, processing centers, warehouses, and plants. This waste may include harmful or dangerous chemicals and chemical residue and waste disposal. Chemical waste must be segregated on site. And waste disposal may need to be handled by a specialist to ensure compliance with health, safety, and legal requirements. Toxic and hazardous waste is comprised of materials that can cause serious health and safety problems if waste disposal is not handled correctly. This type of waste typically includes dangerous byproducts materials generated by factories, farms, construction sites, laboratories, garages, hospitals, and certain production and manufacturing plants. This waste disposal is only legal at special designated facilities around the country. These industrial wastes have a great impact on the environment. Factories and power plants are typically located near bodies of water due to the need for large amounts of water. As an input to the manufacturing process, many areas that are becoming industrialized do not yet have the resources or technology to dispose off the waste with lesser effects on the environment. They cause land, air, and water pollution. Uncontrolled disposal of industrial waste can lead to environmental pollutions and irreparable damages. The soil, water, and air near industrial waste stomp sites are regarded to be very harmful to animals and humans. As such, disposing of industrial waste the right way will prevent against such occurrence. Manufacturers are governed by policies that require them to dispose of industrial waste the right way. As such, violating these rules is illegal and could lead to costly reparations. Managing industrial waste is one of the ways to protect our environment from harmful pollutants. As such, manufacturers and companies should be held responsible for the waste they generate. The industrial waste management system works like this. 
First the waste is analyzed and segregated. Then the waste is collected from the, the factory. This waste is then transported to the waste processor. These waste are then recycled or disposed accordingly. Reducing industrial waste can be a difficult task. There are many reasons why you should both reduce the amount of waste your business produces. Firstly there is the financial cost. Many businesses are searching for ways to save money on waste disposal. Disposing of waste can get very expensive. Another reason why you should reduce the amount of waste your business produces. And the amount of waste that your business sends to landfill is the environmental cost. Our environment is precious and it is important that we do everything possible to prevent or minimize any harmful effects that our activities may have on the environment. Computerized methods will continue to be created to aid with, and enforce, the division of waste from recycled materials. This includes using robots at recycling facilities to sort the waste, GPS-operated compactors, chipped recycle bins that record which households are recycling whenever the hauler tips the bins, and other methods. Researchers will develop new technologies to locate unconventional recyclables such as wasted food on site. This is currently one of the biggest advancements in high-end technology that is happening in the management of solid waste. Ecological and economical efficient plastic waste is turned into high-quality resin. The process emits less greenhouse gas than is emitted when making prime resin. Though currently ahead of the game, this is one area that the industry will need to continue to stay on top of. These include circular economy measures, on-demand service, and anaerobic digesters. Circular economy measures include purchasing wasted foods energy. Technologies will soon be able to treat food waste on site. Char Technologies has a waste to energy process that turns anaerobic digestate into activated carbon. The company then sells the activated carbon to renewable natural gas companies. They then buy the spent activated carbon from those natural gas companies and sell it as a soil amendment. With that we come to the end of today's video. Hope it was useful and informative. Keep supporting DRM Engineering. Also do subscribe to the channel. We'll meet you with the next video soon.